Good morning. Hi everybody, it's Constance the Reader. And today, it's Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. And I figured, let's do a vlog. Um, the weather in Virginia is so nice. Okay, the sun is out. It's a bit chilly. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna be going on a walk this morning. I'm so excited. Um, there's a few new release manga that I already checked that my Books A Million has that's close to my house. So I'm going to be taking y'all with me to go pick some up. Uh, one is the newest volume of Fire Force. It looks like they may have the fourth volume of Momo the Blood Taker. I just read the first volume of that for the month of April. And I do feel like, okay, I'm going to continue with the series. So I'd like to get the fourth volume. There's another one. I cannot remember the name of it, but it's an another one by the creator of A Full Metal Alchemist and the heroic Legend of Arslan, I think. I, I can't remember that one yet because I haven't read the first volume. I know, the first volume's out, so I, I checked up and to get it. I'll put a picture up for y'all to see. But yeah, today's gonna be a really good day. I had wanted to do a vlog yesterday, but I don't know what the hell happened. I, I guess I just wasn't in the mood. Then some stuff came up. Yesterday was a bit much and that's okay. Um, and plus, all we did, all me and my husband did was watch uh, Grimm. Not, not much to see there. It was supposed to be a reading vlog yesterday, but it didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm just so excited. Today's a beautiful day. I'm in such a good mood. So yeah, we're about to, I think what I'm going to do is eat something really quick before I go on my walk, come back home, make the real breakfast meal of the day, feed my dog, get ready to leave, and then like, you'll see, you'll see. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's have fun. Okay, so we're in my office just because it'll be easier for me in general to show you. <laughs> so I really only intended to come in there for what? At most four manga. Uh, what is it? Nine? <laughs> but I found some that were on sale and some that looked really cool. So, uh... I don't know. I'm, I think I've done a really good job of expanding my, my reading in manga and stuff. I'm not just reading like shonen or like the most popular mainstream ones that most people have read. Nothing wrong with that, of course, but like, I don't know. I've really liked branching out into like romance and like slice of life, you know, like everyday things. And you know, I love my, I love my other stuff, right? So 
every, everything's gonna everything's gonna make sense everything's gonna make sense so some of these I might do like a little synopsis for because I don't even know what they're about but newest volume of fire force this is volume 32 I'm pretty sure that there are two volumes left for this series to be complete I think it's 34 volumes 35 if I'm wrong possibly okay we're getting close I have a few more volumes that I have to read like I had said that I wanted to give myself some time uh and not just keep reading them when they released so we're good okay so finally I have volume four of Momo the Blood Taker I have been looking for this at my local Books A Million since it came out because it did not they didn't put it out for some reason. Now, I didn't check to see if they had it in their inventory. I just assumed that I would see it. They didn't have it for some reason, but here we are. And they had like five volumes. I think I, I filmed that part. So they had quite a few. I got mine. I'm excited. I recently read the first volume finally, and I liked it. Um, So this one, I was actually on the fence about getting Oshinoko, but someone that I work with watched the anime recently and they said that the anime was fantastic. And now every person I hear talking about the anime has said that it is the best anime they've ever watched for a first episode. The first episode is like, we'll just say 90 minutes. It, it might be more, it might be less, I'm not sure. But it's like a longer first episode. People said they already fell in love. So I'm excited. I do want to watch the anime, but I, I'm content reading it. And I, I had already kind of thought about reading this when it was first talked about and first released. But I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll give it some time. I'm excited to have it. I can't wait to read it. So this one popped up when I got an email from Books A Million saying like the stuff that released today. So I already knew that Fire Force released, but I did not know about Demons of the Shadow Realm. Does she look familiar? Well, actually, does this character look familiar? Yeah, it looks like the the first volume of the Heroic Legend of Arslan. And it also kind of looks like, um, what's her name from Formal Alchemist? So I'm going to read the back for y'all. Ancient demons awaken to fight a new battle in an age-old war. In a remote mountain village under the watchful eyes of two st stone guardians, the young Yuru contentedly lives off the land while staying close to the only family he has left. Asa, his precious twin sister. Asa, meanwhile, carries out a mysterious duty on behalf of the village while lo locked in a cage. Why is Asa a prisoner? And what other secrets does Yuru's otherwise idyllic home hide? <laughs> Exciting. So this is the first volume. And this is all I know. This is all I know. And it's fine. Okay, so the next five I got were cover buys. Uh, box... Box of Light Volume 1 and 2. Specifically this cover. This cover is gorgeous to me. And uh, a quite convenient store at the crossroads between life and death. Its faint glow in the darkness draws in transient souls, pulling them closer to the final purchase they'll ever make. Prepare for shadowy creatures, strange employees, and an air of dread in this delightful, creepy, supernatural tale. And then I have Volume 2 just a continuation. The convenient story lingers at the boundary between life and death. The faint glow and the darkness draws in unsuspecting souls. Yet the quirky employees who work there, its job, much like any other, is undeniably more strange. Now the time has come for the past of the store's enigmatic and supernaturally gifted manager to be revealed. Mm. So yeah, I, I hadn't seen anybody talking about these recently, so I don't know if these are also new releases. I'll do some research, but I just think the covers are so beautiful. yeah and I don't I don't know I'm excited and then the last three these were all on sale so like I said these were purchased because of the cover because I think they look really really pretty but also they were on sale so I thought why not and it kind of seemed like something that I would be into now I think the order goes so okay well, first of all let me talk about the <laughs> tell you the title it's I hear the sunspot I think the order goes, this one might be a prequel, possibly. Then you have limit one, limit two. And I'm going to do some more research about this and see like how many volumes this is, if I'm reading this in the right way. Um, 
So because of a hearing disability, Kohai is often misunderstood by others and has trouble integrating into life on campus, so he learns to keep his distance. That is until he meets the outspoken and cheerful Taichi. He tells Kohai that his hearing loss is not his fault. His words cut through Kohai's usual defense mechanisms like a knife and open his heart. More than friends, less than lovers, the relationship changes Kohai forever. And I think from reading the back, because I was a little confused, I was like, did I just buy the same thing? They're just different covers, but no. So I think this is the prequel. This is when someone confesses something to someone. And this one looks really sad. So let's see what happens. Maybe they break up, who knows. But I'm excited. So that's what I bought at Books A Million today. But yeah, it is now 1.43. I'm gonna start reading and I'll take you over to the living room and I'll, we'll set the camera up and we'll see something very, very pretty as I read and I'll give you guys my thoughts. But yeah, so far the day has been really good. The walk was nice. It was a beautiful day this morning. It's still kind of chilly outside. Not like, not like cold, but it's still really, really nice today with the sun out and it has a nice breeze. Um, I walk like a little over a mile. I'm used to walking a mile every time I go for a walk. Today, I just took a different route and it was nice, but I probably won't do it again because it took me closer to like the main road. And even though I was on a sidewalk, I was like, oh, I'm so close. And then when I got back into my neighborhood, the sidewalk just disappeared, which that's not a big deal. I'm used to like having parts where I'm not walking on a sidewalk, but when it's the main block that I'm walking, it's not a big deal. That one, people speed down the road and I'm not trying to get hit, even though I could probably get paid. I don't want to be hospitalized. So we're, we're just going to go back to the way it was. And yeah, and then I try to make food for you guys. I mean, I made food for me. I ate it. But to film it, I don't know if it's just me, but I cannot stand the way. I'm, maybe I'm just being too critical of watching myself prepare food. I just feel like my hands are always in the way. I, I don't have a good angle to show everybody how I'm making the food. Um, but it was really good. It was delicious. So I'm sorry that I couldn't show you, but it was delicious. Other than that, oh, and I finally did a survey from the, um, I don't have one here, uh, the Books A Million Receipts. If you do a survey, you get $5 off an order of 25 and I just keep putting that off for some reason. But I did it today, even though I spent a lot more money than I had intending with those last five manga. Uh, it's okay, because I finally did the goddamn survey. So yeah, so let's get into the reading. Yeah, and, and I want to show you guys this. Since, since yeah, I mean, I know that I'm going to end up talking about this on my wrap up video. But I want to show y'all how much manga I've read so far. <laughs> is my head and I got a big ass head so I told y'all I wanted to read the vast majority of the first volumes of everything almost everything that I have um Sunday I got a few things read but I finally read Donuts Under a Crescent Moon I thought this was really good this is four volumes I think and I'm I really want to pick up the next the next volume quickly because it was really good I finally read a Platinum End this is really good. This is by the same creator as Death Note. And I definitely see where we're about to get into like certain characters that remind me of other characters from Death Note. Momo the Blood Taker. This was really good. Uh, I remember buying this for the first time and wanting to pick it up immediately. I don't know why I didn't, but I've liked it. Although I don't like the fact that this character, she is probably, she's, she's your typical vampire, I assume, where she is... Like, let's just say she's 200 years old, but she looks like a child. You already know where we're going with this. So not a fan of that, honestly. But I think the story seems really cool and, and it's very, very bloody. Uh, How Do We Relationship, Volume 1. I have the second volume and I don't, I'm, I'm going to read the second volume, but I don't think I'm going to be collecting it after this. I like this for the most part, but there is so much talking in this that I kind of became bored. Obviously, I'm really used to reading uh, stories that have a lot of action in it. Obviously, there's gonna be dialogue in that too. But even though they are college students, they are young adults. She is annoying. <laughs> 
she's and I don't mean that in a mean way and I know that I mean that, how, how else could you mean that but it's just that if you've read it I think you would understand what I'm talking about and I guess because I'm so much older like I'm in my 30s this like I don't really know how to relationship which again like listen to the title uh that is a bit annoying it's a little annoying just like the oh no are they mad at me oh no I did this wrong I, I think that kind of like everyday stuff which is su super normal is annoying to me so I don't think I will continue to collect that I'm going to read what I own and if I do decide that I want to keep going with the story like the second volume is just so good I will finally just buy things digitally. I'm not used to buying manga digitally, but I'm, I'm gonna probably start. Uh, Jealousy Volume 1, this was really good. This is a BL. When I tell you, they be fucking in this one. Okay, nothing is blurred. It is straight in the hole, y'all. Oh my God, you see everything. Sweet mother, I can't even show you a preview. I mean, maybe I can't show you this preview. Nothing's really, you can't see anything here. But I mean, mm, mm, and, and it, it is <laughs> a little more, more than that later on. Trust me. Finally read Die Dark, the first volume. This is really good. Same person who wrote Doro Hidoro. And uh, I think I watched the first episode of that. Didn't dislike it, but wasn't like super into it. Uh, so really interesting. It's about a teenager who's been cursed or something like that. This is like taking place in space. And um if you can steal his bones, supposedly you can get a wish granted, any any wish that you would want granted. So he is also trying not to be killed by people. And there's a bunch of other things, but it's really funny. I liked it. And I can't wait to fin I can't wait to continue reading this. My love mix up. This is so funny. I didn't expect this to be as funny as it is. It is so cute. Finally read the first volume of Spy Family. I really like this one. Uh, I just recently talked about in my last video that I got Tista, which is by the same creator. I think that one's going to be a little bit less wholesome, but still like gory. Finally read In the Clear Moonlit Dusk. Loving this. I absolutely love this one. I am actually sad I didn't pick this up sooner. It is so freaking good. And I am almost done reading Record of Ragnarok, the first volume. I kind of started that last night, but got tired. And then the other ones I, I've read so far this month is Call of the Night, volume 11, still really good. And the second volume of Our Dreams at Dusk. And I really hate this character. Really pissed me off. I know it's a child, though. I do understand that, but it pissed me off. Okay. Already pissing me off. I hope I don't have to read that character again. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you because it's really making me mad so yeah so that's what I've read so far I'm really excited I also saw a TikTok last night where someone was like was it a TikTok maybe it was a TikTok maybe it was a YouTube video I'm not sure uh where they were like yeah you know when I when I get manga I pretty much read it right when I get it oh what manga book anything you read it right when you buy it what is that like I have no idea I don't think I, I can't remember the last time I actually got a book. I had to be in my twenties and, and younger. Not not in the last not in the last few years, man. That that shit stays for a while. I let it ferment on the shelves <laughs> to get ready. Uh, but yeah, let's get into some reading, right? I'm gonna sit on the sofa with my dog. I'm gonna put something on in the background, and so I can't get distracted with my phone. I'll be filming on my phone, so it'll be perfect. So let's jump right into it. Record of Ragnarok. This is good. I, I actually really can't wait to continue on with this series. Um, Gods versus humans. I didn't really know after from reading the back exactly how this was 
going to be. Um, but I like the setup. Basically, all the gods and a pantheon. And we're not just talking about, like, Zeus. We're talking about, like, all, all the gods that you can think of. Shiva, so on and so forth, um, are debating on if they want to wipe out humanity and start fresh. Um, it seems like they're going to vote yes. And then a Valkyrie uh, is like, you know what? Let's do something different. And I'm going to spice it up a little. I do like Valkyries. I think they're cool. I like that we're getting a little bit more of a background on certain gods I didn't know about. And it's very action-packed, pretty, pretty brutal, which is really cool. Um, I've had Berserk on my TBR for a while, so I decided, you know, let me go ahead and read it. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I know that this is a very gory book. I've heard that before. I was prepared, but I also am kind of confused, hopefully by the second volume, but then the second volume, I'm like, I don't know, liking it? it it's not that I don't like it. It's just, you know, it's hard to get a sense of like, if you're going to like a series just based off the first volume uh, for some. So like, I know that Record of Ragnarok is what I'm going to like. Berserk. Mm. But I'm glad I didn't invest in like the huge um, hardcover volumes. I really don't think I'm going to get into ever collecting those. I have the first 10 and we'll see. Maybe I'll get them digitally later. Uh, but now the things I want to read, I want to read the first volume of Mashal. I want to read the first volume of, God, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this. Brian? Brian? Whatever. Um, e. McCoy. I need to read this. And I still need to read the third volume of, of A School Frozen in Time. Uh, this is only a four series, four volume series. So this should be, I should be able to finish this. And honestly, I think I actually want to read this one before I get into the other first volumes. I've got another stack beside me, a first volume of, well, no, I have Trojan X, volume one. But I have another stack of volumes that I want to read, but that are not the first volume. So I'm going to switch it up. We'll see. I know at some point I really need to get into the I have the graphic novel of Parable of the Sower and I have the physical one I need to read that for my my book club with my sister and my mom I haven't picked it up like enough to say like I've gotten pretty good way through that's on me but yeah so we're gonna get right back into it I don't think I'm gonna film that part because I am kind of watching tv at the same time I've got my dog here beside me my hands are freezing for some reason so we'll see what happens he's a little sleepy boy Oh, and I don't know if y'all can tell, I got a new sofa. <laughs> it's so cute. It's modular. It's emerald green. You know, I was like, let me do something special. You know, I'm trying to get color back into my, into my life. Like we've never really had colorful furniture. It's usually brown. So ooh, emerald green and I'm loving it. Uh, so yeah, so we'll get back into it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read these off camera and I'll get back to y'all. I also need to respond to some text messages. So Yes, hopefully, wish me luck. I will stay on track. I am going to try to keep my phone away from me so I can actually read these. But uh, by the time I report back in, I should. I should have this one finished. And I don't know. I think at least one of these. So at least two. I think that's fair. And as of right now, it is 3.13. I think the last time I filmed something before I stepped on the sofa was 1.43. So... Let's see. Let's see. I'm confident. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so it is a few days later. It is now Thursday, uh, Tuesday night. I was going to give you guys an update, but I took an edible. And so when I went to give my review of some of the things I read, <laughs> it didn't come out that great. Let's, let's just keep it real. Uh, and then the next night, I tried to do the same thing, and I just hate the way it came out. And... The great thing is, is I read a little bit more, so now I have more to talk to, to you about anyway. So I finally finished the third volume of A School Frozen in Time. This is okay. I feel like I'm kind of like not enjoying the story so much, which is disappointing because I do think that it's an interesting concept. You know, it's eight students um, stuck in a school and they, they may need to solve a murder and that's how they get out. Except like, because there are so many characters, it's really hard to like keep interest in it. Cause I don't even know what's going on anymore. 
Like, I thought the point was that they were all supposed to figure it out, but now it's starting to feel like not that. It, it's starting to feel like every single one of them has some type of personal issue that has nothing to do with what we thought was happening in the beginning. I could be wrong. There's only one more volume. This is a four volume series. So I am really hoping that I can finish the fourth volume and hopefully I like it. Maybe I'm just not in the mood for it right now, but the remaining students at the end of this, I, I hate them. Like you have the bad boy character. It was like the class clown annoying. I do not care. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of bored, but April's almost over and I do want to finish this series. So we'll see. I'm going to pull the fourth volume off my shelves and, and we'll give it a try. Next, I read Emakoi. Now I'm in love. So these two I read on Tuesday night. This is really, really cute. I really like this. Um, basically, Satomi, uh, the way this opens up is Satomi is on the train coming to school. Somebody starts to group her and then Yagyu or Yagya, is that his name? Can't remember. Yagyu or Yagyu um, stops that person from groping her. And she's like, oh my God, you know, when I was younger, I really liked somebody and I never told them. I don't want to let that moment get away. So Satomi is determined to tell him thank you. And she has to let him know, like, as she finds him attractive, you know, whatever. They're in the same school year, you know, whatever. And they end up dating. <laughs> it's kind of like insta love, but I didn't hate it. And it's interesting because I have read In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, which I really liked. And I've also read How Do We Relationship and and My Love Mix Up. This is like almost if all of those like came together. So some of the things I might not have liked from some other ones, I kind of like in here and vice versa. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to finish this. I have the first five volumes of the series and I like it so far. I also read Free Run. I'm just going to get say Free Run. I am really terrible at pronouncing this. I don't know why. This is lovely. This is not what I thought it was going to be. And I think I'm really going to enjoy this series. Basically, we are following our main character, Free Run. She's an elf. These are her companions that she was, you know, adventuring with and... Uh, for, for many years and they helped like save the realm but she's an elf and she never dies she's immortal and it, as her companions or her her former adventurers uh are getting older while she's staying the same they die one by one and she gets a new apprentice and I don't know I don't know what to expect from the series someone I follow on bookstagram uh read I think the first six volumes and she said they were really, really good. I think she said she cried. So I think that this is not going to be, this isn't going to be what I expected. I thought this was going to be like super action packed. It's not, but I'm not mad about it, if that makes sense. Like, I think it's really sweet. I think this is going to be like a somber read, but also have moments that are very, very sweet. And God, there, there are a lot of moments in this manga that are very sad, but also also very nice. It, it, it's it's good so far. I like it. And I'm almost done with, okay, so I've been saying Mashal because there's an L and an E. The character's name is Mash. So I don't actually know if you say Mashal, if you just say Mash. I'm just going to say Mash from now on. Uh, I'm almost done. I am a little over halfway. Like I just passed the halfway mark. Uh, it's good. It's very funny. It definitely is exactly what I said it was, which is One Punch Man Harry Potter. I'm liking it a lot. It definitely has its funny moments. Uh, I want to watch this for sure because like some of the panels that I've seen, it has like those facial expressions from One Punch Man that I always found funny. So I am excited to finish this and then I'm going to show you guys what else I'm going to be reading after this. All right, so I have a huge stack. I, I really am sorry. Okay, so now that I've read several first volumes, I still have a few first volumes here that I want to read, but what I've pulled out, okay, so I'll start with the few first volumes I have. So I did pull out Chojin X. We'll see if I get to this. 
So this is by the same uh, creator as Tokyo Ghoul. It looks really, really cool. Very dark, very like spooky. So I definitely want to read it. I just saw someone talk about it and recommend it. They said it was really good. Next, I have the first volume of Oshinoko. Uh, like I said, everyone that I've seen talk about this have said that it's really good. So I think I want to give it a try, but these are on the maybe pile because I just pulled these out. What I've had on the side has been volume three and four of Kaiju number eight. I said I really need to get back into the series. So I think that I want to read these next because I need to. Um, I also said I needed to get back into Hell's Paradise. Uh, my husband and I watched volume four last night. Volume four. We watched episode four of the, of the anime. And we still haven't gotten all the way to the end of volume two, I just realized. So, like I said, I really need to pick this back up because I actually want to read it. I want to get ahead of it reading before all the episodes come out because... I don't know. I don't know how it's I don't know how this series is going to end. If it's going to end through all of the volumes or it's going to stop halfway and we'll have a season 2. We'll see. Um I also have Jealousy number 2. I did say I wanted to <laughs> I really liked the first volume, so I wanted to pick this one up. I think this is a shorter one, a shorter series. I I didn't check. I think I have four volumes of Jealousy and it might be a four series um four volume series. We will see if I can even open this shit. Yeah, so I just took the plastic off. So something crazy happened at the very end of the first volume. Um, someone has been shot. <laughs> someone else has been killed. Um, so this is really exciting. Uh, I just kind of peeked through and, oh, Lord of mercy, already with the, with the sex. Already with the sexy time. Lord, I'm excited. This, this has definitely been an interesting and sexy read. So for all you smut lovers out there, I think you would like this. Um, I also have volumes three and four of Spy Family, three and four, two and three of Spy Family. I definitely think I want to read this now. I, I don't know if I'll get to it today, but they're not that, they don't seem that long. You know what I mean? Let's see if I can look at the page number if it gives it to me yeah like you're looking at less than 200 pages for these so I think I think I can do it I think I can and then I also pulled out volume two of my love mix up because I did say I wanted to read this like I said I really like Emakoi and I know you can't compare all of the ones that I've read that are like high school romance because they're all different but my love mix up is really really funny and I'm liking what's happening um, I definitely can't wait to see what happens in Emakoi, but I think if I had to choose right now after reading both of the first volumes, I'm more excited to see what happens in My Love Mix-Up, just in terms of rank. Those of you who don't care about Emakoi, I like Emakoi, but yeah, 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 so far I like this. So yeah, that's what I have all beside me, and it's all manga. Now, I have a ton of stuff I need to read on my Kindle. Um, we'll see if I get to that, but I do need to make a point Teresa, all this stuff because you know I did get approved for it on that galley. It is a big deal. But yeah, so we'll get to reading. Uh, I'm not going to make a promise that I'm going to film another reaction for what I finished tonight because I did it last time and I messed up. But I'm not going to take an edible tonight, so I shouldn't have a problem. Uh, but yes, I will see y'all again hopefully tonight with the final like count of what I read. If not, if for some reason it is not how that's going to happen, I'll say goodbye now and then the video will end. But if, if I if I do the right thing, you will see me one more time and then I'll say goodbye for sure and you'll hear the whole spiel. All right, I'll see you again. Okay, it's midnight, but I did it. So I read volumes three and four of Kaiju number eight. They're really good. I know I've said this before, but Kaiju number eight is a really really good fucking uh good good uh story good manga in my opinion i don't know how close i am to the camera but we're gonna get nice and close um yeah yeah so it's uh following our main character kafka he's like in his 30s i think he's 32 he works as like the waste management person in this world where kaiju or think monsters uh, exist amongst humans 
and he's on the extermination team that cleans up the mess when they're destroyed. Um, he has always wanted to be a part of the team that is responsible for killing the kaiju, but he's not really powerful. He's not like useless, but you know, that that's kind of like the vibe you're getting when you are describing him, when people are describing him. A younger person joins the cleanup crew and they say like, yeah, I really want to be a part of the extermination team. And he reveals that this is like the last year, the only year I think where someone of Kafka's age can join. And someone that he grew up with is like the number one kaiju killer, basically, soldier. And he's always wanted to join her. For whatever reason, I can't remember since it's been so long since I read volume one and two, they kind of had a falling out, so to speak. So they haven't spoken since they were really young. But um, the young kid convinces him to apply and try to be a soldier and ends up working. But unfortunately, something happens where Kafka somehow becomes half monster. And from there, obviously, He's on the soldier brigade or whatever that's supposed to be killing these monsters. So what the fuck is he supposed to do? He can be human sometimes. He can be a kaiju some, some other times. And um, that's where Kaiju Nabri comes in because he is the eighth kaiju. And this is this was really good. Very action packed. I definitely re I really like this character in particular. She's very strong. But so far, I really, really like the series. I still have to read volumes five and six. I don't know how long the series is going to be, but I added um, to my Goodreads like all the volumes that they have available in there uh, that I want to read. I think it was up to volume 11, maybe? I'm probably wrong. I'm, I might be getting it confused with Zom 100. I didn't realize that Zom 100 has another um, manga coming out soon. And I also went through there and <laughs> went through Goodreads and said, I want to read, want to read, want to read. But yes successful reading vlog. I think I'm going to end it here because I've had a really good time. I know I'm going to be working this whole weekend, so I'm not going to have like an opportunity to film and, you know, maybe I just want to chill a little later on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, tell me anything I read. Have you read? Did you like it? Do you hate it? Um, is there anything that you think I need to be prioritizing? Uh, like series that I just started for the one volume that I should really continue on. Um, I probably should take a break from reading manga because I think at this point, I think I've read a total of 20 books for the month of April, but the vast majority of them are manga. So maybe I need to give myself a little break, read something else. You know, I still got some stuff on NetGalley I need to read, but it's fine. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you like, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, follow me on other social media. It's in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching my video. Have a good day. Goodbye.